founder of Slapfish, and today he is back with us to whip us up an Opa burger with ginger ketchup and celery slaw. Please welcome back one of our very favorite people, Chef Andrew Grohl, with a drool-worthy Grohl with a drool-worthy Opa burger. Okay. So much so that Julian said, "I have to eat this," and yeah. he's decided to stick Without around. Question. <laughs> and also joining us, Race to Erase MS founder Nancy Davis, Nancy Davis and of course Hallmark star Katrina Bowden. All of them are already a fan of your Opa burger. Yes. So, what exactly is Opa? Well, Opa is a uh, great question, right? Because nobody's heard of it, but it's right. such a delicious fish. Opa is also known as moonfish. Oh and it's um, interestingly, it's a bycatch species, which means that when somebody's targeting, let's say, tuna, and they happen to catch Opa on the line, it used to get thrown away, basically. Bycatch was waste, but now with a lot of motions to you know, increase sustainable seafood fishing practices, yeah. it's let's use that and make a market out of it. And here we have Opa, which just because it's bycatch doesn't mean it's not an amazing fish. Right, and it's quite a yeah. big fish, isn't so it? So really, that's why, actually, it's such a big fish, yeah. sometimes they didn't want to bring it in. I mean, that's <laughs> tiny compared to some of the ones I've seen. Like, that's what that's, I mean. Yep, yep, that's, that's wow. the one we're eating today. Really? Wow. Yeah, that's Frank. How many pounds was Frank? That yeah. Is, that's, that's a big something. boy. <laughs> Definitely. Oh, my goodness. Well, and this was just caught this past weekend. Yeah, it was caught recently, yep. I mean, wow. yeah. so it's an unintentional catch, exactly. basically. Right, exactly. So, trying yeah. to catch the tuna. Okay, so what is exactly does opa taste like? So, uh, it's I, mean, like I guess you guys could taste. Yeah, we'll yeah. tell you. It's, yeah, yeah, yeah it's but it's not fishy. But for the for for the uh, you know the viewers, it's almost a mix between swordfish and tuna, right? So it's got that nice steaky, okay. rich feel, but it's kind of creamy because it's you know with the muscle content in there. All right, so it's a real solid fish. Exactly. Okay. Yeah. So what do we do? How do we? Well, make which is why we're subbing it in a burger today, because heck, you know what? You don't want the regular burger. Have a fish burger. So. We're gonna start with a, making our own house-made ketchup. So the base is gonna be tomato paste. We're gonna have a little bit of garlic powder, okay. onion powder. Now the key to this is the pickled ginger, right? So that adds oh, a lot of Is that what that is? Yeah, so just chopped up pickled ginger. It adds some fun acidity and sweetness to it. Okay. Um, wait, where's, that's that, not, oh, that's honey. There you no, go, no, woo! So there we go. <laughs> that so we go. That's quickly. water, it's just really weird. Yeah, exactly. Uh, that's, that's, <laughs> I've been wanting to work on the filter system. <laughs> Don't worry, there's no mercury in that. Yeah. So, uh, and then we've got a little bit of cider vinegar. Uh, lemonade, right? So we're going to add sweetness and a, some acidity. Lemonade, not lemon juice, lemonade. Lemonade, lemonade, oh, exactly. That, that, that cool, refreshing drink. Yeah. And then exactly. just kind of some water to thin it out. That's funny. Send me yeah. up a peanut butter and banana sandwich. I know where you're going with that. <laughs> yeah. That's an that Elvis thing. So let me ask you, why do they call your restaurant, why did you name it Slapfish? Well, you know, I mean, I guess fish so fresh it'll slap you. Uh, oh, uh, funny. Come on, come on. I mean, I still hear my mom saying, quit being so fresh, you're going to get slapped. So <laughs> that was pretty much it. So, so that's our beautiful, our sauce. Yep, a little bit of salt, a little bit of pepper, okay. We got the opa. We, we sliced it thinly okay. and then just did a really simple sear on this because we're actually going to make uh, what I call the Double Double Burger, which uh, I should put in quotes, but it's our Opa Double, okay. right? So uh, we're gonna start with uh, start with this ketchup, and really the key to any of these good sauces or sandwiches, especially with a rich fish like Opa, the sauce is the boss, right? I right. mean, we want as much sauce on there as possible, so we go end to end on this, and then we're gonna start with one filet, and then we're gonna sandwich it with this amazing slaw. So what, what is that? What's in here is it's a celery slaw. Um, the base is shredded romaine. We've got some carrot in there, a little bit of mayo, a touch of lemon juice, and you know, sugar and uh, and spice. And Why that's is much celery it. so popular right now? Did they get the same publicist as kale? Yeah. Because everybody <laughs> wants to use celery now in everything. <laughs> that's great. So I like that one. But, uh, is it, but am I wrong? You're <laughs> celery is every yeah. at every restaurant now. Oh, celery this. Shave celery. And I'm like, is, is, is celery fancy? And, and I didn't know. And you know that like Brussels sprouts are sitting in a recliner saying that used to be me. <laughs> so, you know. so true. So we're gonna we're, so we're gonna top the uh, the, the ever so, ever so hot and uh, you know vanity friendly celery with uh, another piece of opa right there. And then of course as some mentioned, more ketchup. Yep, exactly. Yes. You know, just some get more the sauce. Put a dollop on You're this. making this as a sandwich. Could you this uh, keep you it go. a thicker cut and you? Whoa, that's a nice. lot. Entree? You could have this, I mean, yeah, you could have it as an entree. I mean, you can have this thing as, uh, you know, chop it up and have kebabs with it. You can have it as oh, a burrito. Yeah. And heck, if you... it's firm. It's firm. This is one of those those gateway fish, right? I mean, my my kids love eating opa. Yeah. Um, I tell them it's chicken. Yeah. So, really, it's that so simple. You, really, you can fool them like that. Okay, cheers. Okay. Does so there Oprah it is. like the opa? Uh, you know what? Somebody's got to make. But wait, it before you put that in your mouth, um, where do you source your fish from? Like when? Oh, this is great. So we use a we use a company called Sea to Table. So they connect with docks all over the United States to get what's next day mm -hmm. kind of caught 
or oh, land really? of fish for you. Yeah, so we really are kind of, you know, direct to the source using seed table and consumers can do that as well right through the website. So you have to be on your toes because you don't know what's coming in, right? Exactly. Right. What you're going to serve and yep. how you yep. prepare It has that. to be creative. Wow. Our, our, our entire kind of, you know, menu mantra is choose the dish, not the fish. That way we can exchange mm. the fish in and utilize some of these typically underutilized species. Right. Wow. What's new at Slapfish, Andy? Uh, we just opened Slapfish Raw Bar, so Raw Bar by Slapfish. We've got uh, new oysters coming in daily, 18 beers on tap. Uh, Happy hour, 3 to 6. What? I mean, not that I know. <laughs> <laughs> One of my friends told yeah. me. Yeah. yeah. Just... yeah. Good <laughs> friends. Slappy <laughs> hour. Slappy Slap hour. There you go. Money. Beautiful. So. Wonderful. All right. All right. Cheers. 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 Fish is so good, it makes you want to slap someone. The, by the way, it is a wonderful recipe, and it is available by dropping by HallmarkChannel.com. Mm. Isn't it good? Mm. Did you guys enjoy it? Mm. Yeah.